Why hello there! As you may have guessed from the intro, in today's video I'm going to be completing the back of Green's mansion. Well, let's begin. For whatever reason, I decided to start in this section. I began by building this roof, but some idiot deleted the footage of that. Here I'll build a slightly modified version of what Green has on the front of this section, which is this cool looking balcony design. I had to modify it slightly so that it fit between these two other sections, so I did this by essentially just squishing the whole thing backwards by a few blocks. Next, I move on to this taller and thinner area where I reuse some windows that Green had built on the front. I promise I do actually build some of my own stuff too, it just wouldn't look quite right if it looked nothing like the front. I then add a little bit more detail to the top of the section before I move on to the next. In this area, I fill most of it with this big window. This one is sort of a copy of a window from the front, however the one Green built was built on a flat wall, and as you may know, building something flat on a diagonal may as well be a different build. I then add this little detail to the top to add a little more interest, and then I move the entire window up two blocks, which is always fun. I then try this design at the bottom, but that will be changed later. I move on to the small section where I add these stone brick lines and a small blacked out window. Now on the third last section of this side I add three small black windows and a little more detail. I didn't want to do too much to this area as I didn't want to mess with Barry's house at all. Now getting closer to the middle for this section, believe it or not, I actually designed my own windows which I think fit the same style as the ones Green built. After this, I took a break from building and battled this shulker monster, which you'll just have to trust that I sorted, because you'll never know if I didn't. After this, I'll copy what I've done so far onto the other side. Here you'll see the design I used to replace the one I used earlier. This area required a little bit of terraforming, but all the major stuff was already taken care of. I proceed to add trimming to the bottom of these walls, and then do the section with the three windows again. However, this time I need to create a bottom half for it which I filled with these two windows which are loosely based off of some found near the bottom of the front of the mansion. I then build this window similar to the one on Grian's mansion, however this one was built with a two block center, and can I just say it was kinda nice to build it on a flat face for the first time this build. I was originally going to leave this section blank, then decided that it was too big for that, so I just decided to add a few lines and then you guessed it, another window. I do end up upgrading this window which you'll see in a bit. Next I quickly build these two windows and then we can get to the middle. For the centerpiece I go with this detailed circular window and place the letter G inside for Green, cause after all it is his mansion. At this point I'm not entirely happy with it, so you'll see I change it like four times. I then begin to add a large balcony under the window. I change out the smooth stone for grey wool, but now that I see it again I think I like the stone better. Next I fill the balcony in and then add a little bit of texture.
In the center I add this doorway that totally wouldn't bring you into Green's fireplace. Then add these two planters that I put small custom trees in, and then add a little bone meal to finish them off. I then added the upgraded version of the window I used on the other side of this wall, and then add two more of these small black windows, and then copy it onto the other side. I finished it off by adding these four decorative thingies, and then there you have it. The back of Green's Mansion is finished.